Alrighty, greetings starfighters, welcome back to the USS Perth Amboy, an Arco Play Star Trek Online series, and it occurs to me I don't open most of my episodes this way, so I don't, well, okay, moving on. <laughs> We are about to continue the Delta Quadrant arc with, um, ah uh, yes, the return of the EMH, voiced by Robert Picardo. The doctor is asking for assistance with the situation in the Shenda system. I'd like you to lend a hand. All right, let's do that. There's something interesting I'd like you to look and okay it should have shown up on there I don't know what the heck there we go okay so weird that's why is it not right, hold on that We have arrived in the Shenda system, Captain. The distress signal is coming from the transport dead ahead, but we've received no response to our hails. I'll keep trying, but perhaps our guest knows more. The emergency medical hologram known as the Doctor is in a nearby shuttle and awaiting our hail. All right, take us to the Doctor's shuttle. Pleased to meet you. I scanned your service record before your arrival. You've been in quite a few battles, haven't you? Ever stop to think about the strain you're putting on your medical crew before you charge into combat? Of course you don't. No captain ever does. Nice to meet you too, Doctor. We've been hailing this Ocompan freighter for some time, but we're not getting a response, and our sensors cannot penetrate their shields. Their initial distress signals indicated that they were suffering from Paranisti measles. I can treat it easily, if I can get onto the ship. Now that your ship is here, it should be trivial to board the vessel and assess the situation. Transport me aboard your vessel, and then my shuttle can return to Voyager. Prepared for transport. Excellent. Your ship has more powerful sensors than my shuttle. Ship is under attack. Fought our ships inbound. Oh, yeah. supremacy. I apologize for the overzealousness of my soldiers. This action was not authorized. I'm Admiral Nagata of the Perth Amboy. I'm pleased to finally meet you. 
It appears your presence here in the Delta Quadrant has inadvertently caused some conflict between us. I would rather avoid any more unpleasantness. Would you be willing to meet with me face to face? Yes, but I found such talks are best on neutral grounds. That is understandable. Do you have a location in mind? There are not many areas of the Delta Quadrant where my people are not reviled. I might know a place. I will be back with you in a moment. Oh, what a wonderful surprise! Is there anything I can do for you? Hello, Neelix. We need a neutral place for a diplomatic negotiation with the Vodwar, and I was wondering if you could help. Diplomatic negotiations? I am Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. I would be more than happy to offer my services as mediator. As for the location, Dexa and most of our people are on New Talax now, but we still have the asteroid base in the Antaba system. It's mostly empty now, just a few cleanup crews, and the Kazon have been leaving it alone. It would be perfect. <sighs> okay, I do like that second dialogue option there. The asteroid base sounds perfect. Your diplomatic assistance, however, no need to trouble yourself. Because, uh, well, the show tried to tell us Neelix was a good diplomat. How it actually played out was, um, let's just say the text didn't match the subtext. But, you know, I'm going to be nice here. Thank you. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Well, did you find a suitable location for our meeting? There's an asteroid base in the Antaba system that the Talaxians have been using. Talaxians? Are there still Talaxian communities? How odd. The site is agreeable. Send my ship the coordinates and I will meet you there. Coordinates sent. We'll talk there. I'm contacting the closest medical ship. They can investigate this further while we meet with Gaul. Excellent idea, Doctor. We can set course for the Antaba system as soon as you're ready, sir. And of course, oh. sir, we have arrived in the Antaba system. Gaul's ship is already here and he is transported down to the base. You can probably guess that things are going to go wrong here. But, uh, and of course, you already know Imagine that things are going to go using wrong. Using a enough. medical emergency as a trap. The Vodwar have no shame. I yeah. don't trust Gaul. He betrayed us on Vodwar Prime. He'll do it again. No argument there. It's good to see you again so soon. If I might make a suggestion, I would recommend only bringing two crew members with your away team. Gaul brought four aides. You'll have the doctor and myself, and bringing more of your crew down might look like you're trying to get an advantage on him. Gaul seems very touchy. Proper protocol will be important. Are you ready to beam down? That is smarter than about 90% of the things he said on the actual TV show. <laughs> Let's see, who shall I bring today? I've already got like all the ground damage abilities and shit, so, um, hmm. Let's see here. Um, I will bring... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to bring the Bashir and Rom holograms. Why not? It's so good to see... Doctor, it's been 30 years! You haven't aged a day! Yes, it's good to see you too, Neelix. We have a bit of time before we'll begin. We're giving the Vaudoir a fine Talaxian feast to help ease the tension. Doctor, you must tell me all you've been up to. Oh, Neelix, I couldn't. Not with the Vaudoir here. But I suppose it is important that you hear about my many achievements since our last meeting. 
And my brilliant research was able to prove conclusively. Thus I began my grand adventure into the challenge of writing Klingon Opera. Oh, well. Brax and I agreed to never mention the incident again. <laughs> well, at least not to Dexa. <laughs> Neelix, the Vardwar have finished the appetizers and are waiting for you. Oh, well, we had better get going. We, we can talk <laughs> more later. I said that. I think... I believe there was supposed to have been someone else there, but the animation kind of got screwed up. Do you remember Chef Jolax from the last time you were here? He's the one that has been serving the Vaudoir, their fabulous appetizers. Full bellies make for good conversation, I always say. He told me that Gaul is a little grumpy, but I'm sure you can handle him. Gaul is in the command room now, waiting for us. Jolax should be back soon to take everyone's orders for the main course. Thank you, Neelix. Let's go speak with Gaul. We're walking, yes indeed, we're walking. on the map? Where am I going? Okay. Um... I think I'm going in the right direction. I don't fucking know. Wait, no. Uh, this is where I came in. <laughs> Whoops. How did I manage to screw that one up? Oh boy. Well, that's embarrassing. that out so uh, I put out another I put out a pretty big video in the interim between the last Perth Amboy episode and this one pretty proud of it did the whole uh, one musical thing one musical scene thing um. ah okay last. I must say, your Talaxian friends are quite hospitable. But down to business. Our meeting is long overdue. Indeed. It's time to settle our differences. As do I. My people are damaged, in crisis. We are already at war with the Kabali, and with you, given your alliance's support for them. Ooh, the Kabali. Ugh. More on them later. Do you know why we fight the Kabali? Their world was once a Vadwa colony, one of our largest. And there is still a large cache of stasis tubes on the planet. Those are my brothers and sisters being held hostage. The Kabali are stealing them, taking their very identities and transforming them. They won't return their remaining tubes? The Kabali would rather watch us die and use our corpses as fuel for their unnatural corruption. Is it wrong to fight against your own extinction? Don't we have a right to survive as well? Yeah, I can't say I'm entirely unsympathetic to the Vodwar here. Uh, Kabali, you're, um... Well, if you remember the Voyager episode, Dust to Dust, they are, uh... Yeah, I mean, they're basically grave robbers, let's just call it that. That's how they procreate, which I, I'm, I am glad to game added a little bit to the lore to suggest that they didn't evolve that way, which is 
good because suggesting they evolved to be like that is just fucking stupid. But, um... Yeah, and yeah, okay, yeah, they're only converting Vodwar whose tubes have failed and they died, yada, yada, yada. I, I think they tell us that later. But, you know, like, they could, you know, ask? Anyway, what, what was that? Just like, yeah, there must be a way we can end this peacefully. This war will scar the quadrant for decades to come. There can be no peace. Not after what they've done. Are you suggesting we are weak? That we should just lay down and die for them? No, we will not. No, but destroying the Kabali isn't right, either. Okay, yeah, that's true, but ugh. I hate being... S like, okay, defending the Kabali is one thing that I have to do it so strongly. That's one of the things about this arc I really don't like. There are greater threats in the galaxy we must face. Do not try to pacify me. We will have our retribution. You have my offer. Abandon your alliance with the Kobali and support us, and we will be your strongest ally in the Quadrant. Yeah, game kind of sets you up for failure here. I'm not here to start a war with the Kobali. <laughs> Peace. You know nothing of what it means to be Vodwar. You need to understand. What do you mean? The Vodwar have endured too much to make peace. Do you expect us to forget the destruction of our cities? The massacres of our people? The food's almost ready. What would you all like for your main course? You need to understand even the smallest fraction of our anger. <gasps> He's dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does that make you angry, Talaxian? No. It makes me sad. For Jolex. And for you. Then we are not done. <laughs> what the? Huh? Oh no. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> so that happened. Admiral, the entire Vodwar fleet is opening fire on the remaining Talaxian ships. We've sent out distress signals to every ship in range. We'll do what we can to protect the Talaxians, but we can't hold it against this many ships. What happened? Explain the situation to Tarsi. That's horrible. Do you think Gaul had any intention of negotiating in good faith, or was this all an act? We're giving the Talaxians all the time we can to escape, so but it's not looking good up here, sir. Some of the Vodwar have already broken off to pursue them. Your orders? Okay... Uh, I need a scan of the base. Are there any Talaxians left alive? Scans show two large groups of Talaxians in a storage room and the logistics area, sir. They have the doors blocked, but there are Vodwar trying to get in at both locations. It doesn't look good, Captain. I'm afraid you will only have time to rescue one group. Good luck, sir. Okay, do your best to save the Talaxians no matter what. Starfleet will not let more innocents die today. Oh, speak to the doctor time only to save one group? I do not envy your choice. I would go with you, but I cannot leave Neelix alone. And time is of the essence. I'm afraid you'll have to go on without us. Very well. Make sure to get Neelix. No. I'm going. I can't sit by and let the Vaudoir kill my friends. I, I won't be a burden. I promise. I have to do this. Stay close to me, Neelix, and I'll ensure your safety.
Well. Oh, okay, I gotta finish off all the ones in the cargo bay before it'll let me choose. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go with uh, whichever one's the closest to me when I've finished here. How do we choose who to save? Okay, going the ones in the storage room, again, because it was the closest. I mean, sucks, but, you know, sometimes pragmatism is the best decision. We've saved the hostages, but they may be safer here. Can't yet tell them to stay there until the closest. What about the people in logistics? We're gonna. Yep. Sadly, as you might have guessed, the game's not gonna let us. Yeah, the fact that that door's open already shows you that uh, shit's kind of fucked. Civilians. These are my friends. They are beyond my help now, Neelix. I'm sorry. Then we can still save the others. We have to get to the shuttle in the cargo bay. up with the sound there, but... Uh. Ooh, okay. Signal to the remaining telexians to join us here as soon as possible. <sighs> More Vodwar on the way. Defend the shuttle. Time to summon my dinosaur. More on the way. If I weren't a hologram, I'd be worried. <laughs> oh, jeez. Considering both of my holograms just got knocked out, maybe you should. Uh, where's Rom? A large number of Vodwar are closing in. I'm afraid they may be too much for you to handle. The Terrae are here to assist. After this, our debt to you is repaid. That's timely. Here come the Vodwa. Oh, 
Sagwa have been repelled. I would have words with you before you continue. Okie doke. Well, hopefully the Bashir hologram will go take care of the Rom hologram. Our help does not mean we are now allies. We are repaying a debt. Our ships are currently engaging the Vadwa fleet. It is unsafe for this shuttle to launch until they are defeated. We will return to our ships. I suggest you do the same. We will provide cover for your ship so it may drop shields to transport you. We appreciate the help, Commander. Okay, the Perth Amboy is ready to transport us. Are you ready? Yes. I knew this meeting was a farce. The word Vodwar means fool in ancient Talaxian. Did you know that? You thought me a fool who would swallow your insults without comment. A fool who would blunder into the trap you set with the Torey. I am not. You're the one who did this, Gaul, not me. This has destroyed any chance of an accord between us. How disappointing. I had thought you would be a valuable ally. Now you are just another victim. We did everything we could to make peace with you. By being, and by everything, I mean every... By everything we could, I mean everything the game would let me. You're the one who destroyed it.
Kalbar attacked our home world. Now we have come to assist you. This discharges our obligation. Thank you for your assistance. Perhaps we can be allies someday. How could they do something so horrible? We're no threat to them. We've done nothing but welcome them. And he just... He killed my friends just to make a stink. I don't understand how anyone would be so callous. I'm so sorry, Neelix. I don't blame you. I agreed to let the Vaudoir come here. I put my people in danger. This is my responsibility. I just never conceived that even the Vaudoir could be so treacherous. They double-crossed us on Voyager and tried to take the ship, but slaughtering innocent people. My time on Voyager changed me. I saw the best that people could be. I forgot, or wanted to forget, how evil they could be. Neelix, I promise you that Gaul will face justice for what he's done. With your permission, I'll lead the survivors back to New Talix. Then we can return with a security force to collect the dead. Farewell. I've been in contact with the USS Blackwell. They boarded the freighter in the Shenda system, but it was empty. It was all a ruse by the Vaudoir to lure us into that system. Everything was part of this play Gaul wanted to perform. From the initial distress call to his intervention and offer to negotiate. And then he used a massacre to set his stage. That's the kind of man he is. And unless he's stopped, the entire quadrant may fall. Let us hope it does not come to that, Doctor. Gaul has shown his true nature. I expected he was not dealing in good faith. But nevertheless, we had to make an attempt to find a peaceful solution to our problems with the Vaudoir. Now the war will continue. I grieve for all who have been lost, and for those who will fall before this conflict ends. Well, we had to try, Admiral. Senseless, meaningless death. I'll never understand. I hope Neelix and his people will be able to find some peace, and that Gaul will answer for his crimes. And I hope our paths cross again, perhaps under better circumstances next time. With your permission, I'll return to Voyager. Permission granted. Farewell, Doctor. It has been an honor. Talaxian base is safe for now, and the surviving Talaxians are making their way to New Talix. Shall we depart? Yes. Gaul betrayed my trust years ago when we first encountered the Vaudoir. Time hasn't made him any less treacherous or dangerous. He's a warmonger. He must be stopped. Okay. There's something interesting I'd like you to look into. Alright, and that's it for today's episode. Uh... Okay. Oh! <laughs> Alright, um... Shit. EMH is a duty officer. Do I have anyone like you know? Don't mind letting go of. Uh, mm, uh, hmm. Doesn't look like it. Uh, uh, well, anyway, I'll work on that in a little bit. Anyway, yeah, that was the uh, that was it for today's episode. Uh, hope to see you all for the next one continuing the Delta Quadrant arc with... I already did that one, I already did that one. Capture the Flag, which will take us to the flagship of the Romulan Republic. Have fun and stay safe and disregard the constabulary. <laughs>